How do we know whether a sequence is quadratic or not? And then if you are given and are told that a certain sequence is quadratic, can you find the general equation for the nth term of that quadratic sequence? So that's exactly what I'm going to teach you in this video. We know that a given sequence is quadratic if the second difference is a constant. We know that a given sequence is quadratic if the second difference is a constant. So let's go ahead and evaluate a few sequences and see whether they are quadratic or not. So for instance, let's say we have uh, 2, 17, uh, 40, and 71, right? This is our sequence. So let's go ahead and evaluate it and see if the second difference is a constant. If the second difference is a constant, then beyond reasonable doubt, that sequence is quadratic, right? So if we find the difference uh, between 2 and 17, that should be 15, right? And then the difference between 17 and 40, that should be 23. And the difference between uh, 71 and 40 should be uh, 31. So this is the first difference. Now we have to move to the second difference. If the second difference is a constant, then we know beyond reasonable doubt that uh, the sequence that we have here is quadratic. Uh, so the difference between 15 and 23 uh, it's obviously 8, and then the difference between 31 and 23 is again 8, right? Uh, so we can see here that uh, our second difference is a constant. So this uh, sequence that we have here, we can conclude and say that it is quadratic, right? So if you have something like this, then you can conclude that it's a quadratic sequence. Uh, the second difference is a constant. So let's move to the next example and see if uh, the sequence we're going to have is going to be quadratic or not. So let's say we have 9, uh, 15, 23, and uh, 33, right? Uh, so the first step, we're going to find the first difference, right? So the first difference, uh, 9 and 15, uh, that is 6, and then 15 and 23, that is 8, and then 23 and 33, the difference will be 10, right? Uh, so you can see here that uh, we're going to get a difference of 2, and then again a difference of Two. So beyond reasonable doubt, this sequence that we have here is quadratic because the second difference is a constant, right? Uh, let's move to the following example. Let's say we have a sequence 1, uh, 10, uh, 100, and then uh, 1000, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and evaluate this sequence and see whether it's quadratic or not. Uh, so the difference between 1 and 10, uh, that is 9. And then the difference between 110, that is going to be uh, 90. And then the, the difference between 1000 and uh, 100, that's going to be uh, 900, right? Uh, so the difference uh, between 90 and 9, that's going to be 81. And then the difference between uh, 990, that's going to be uh, 810. So we can see here that the second difference is not a constant. So this third sequence is not a quadratic sequence, right? So the first one was a quadratic sequence uh, because the second difference is constant. Uh, the second one is a quadratic sequence because the second difference is a constant. Uh, but the, the third one doesn't satisfy our condition. So we can say that uh, it's a quadratic uh, sequence, right? So let's uh, go back to that first page and uh, look at the second point. So the second point says that the nth term of the quadratic sequence will be of the form a n squared plus b n plus c. The nth term of the quadratic sequence will be of the form e n squared plus b n plus c, right? Yeah, so let me uh, go down and show you what we can do here. So uh, we told that um, if we want to find the general term, we're going to have a n uh, squared plus b n uh, plus c. So what we're going to do here, we're going to derive the formulas for a, b, and c. So that when we're given a sequence, 
and then we have proved that it's a quadratic sequence by finding a constant second difference we can then find the general term of that sequence all right let me show you how we do it so in this formula here we're going to find uh the first second and third term right so the first term n is equals to one right that is the position of the first term so if we substitute one into uh this equation here then we're going to get uh a plus b plus c let's go ahead and try finding the second term if we do that uh, we're gonna get uh for a plus uh two b plus uh c right that is the second term and then uh the third term we're going to get uh nine a plus uh three b plus c right so like we did uh on those examples <coughs> So like we did on the examples above, let's go ahead and find the difference, right? So we're going to find the difference uh, between uh, the first term and the second term. So if we find the difference between those two terms, we're going to get 4a minus a, that is going to be uh, 3a, uh, and then 2b minus b, that is going to be plus b, and then c minus c, we're going to be left with nothing there. And then uh, the second and then uh, the third term and the second term, we're going to have uh, 9a minus uh, 4a. So that is going to be uh, 5a. And then 3b minus 2b, that is just going to be plus b. And then c minus c, we're going to be left with nothing, right? And then uh, the th second uh, difference, which we know that it's supposed to be a constant, uh, we're going to have 5a plus b minus 3a plus b which will give us uh, 2a, right? So the first difference, the first number on the first difference is we can always equate it to 3a plus b. And then the common difference, we can always equate it to 2a. And then uh, the first term of the quadratic sequence itself, we can always equate it to a plus b plus c so let's go ahead and see if uh, this trick i'm proposing here actually works right uh, so our first uh, quadratic sequence right uh, the sequence that we proved that is quadratic uh, we had 2 17 40 and uh, 71 let's go ahead and find the differences uh, like we did in the first step so 2 and 17 uh, we're gonna get uh, 15 and then 17 and uh, 40, we're going to get 23. And then here we had um, 31, right? Uh, so if we go ahead and do that again, we're going to get 8. And then we're going to get uh, 8 again, right? So what I'm proposing is that uh, this common difference, we can equate it to 2a, right? Uh, based on the derivation uh, we did here. Right, so uh, we can go ahead and see that two um, a will be equals to eight. Right, so um, a is going to be equals to four. Right, uh, based on the derivation we did, and then uh, if we move ahead, uh, we see in that um, the first term of the first difference should be equals to three a plus b. So we can see that three uh, a plus b will be equals to this term here, 15, right? So we're going to have uh, 15. But we know that a is 4, so we can say 3a multiplied by 4 plus b is equals to 15, right? So we just have b being equals to 15 minus 12, which is equals to uh, 3, right? And then now, uh, we know that uh, this number here, the first term, is supposed to be equals to a plus b plus c right so if we say a plus b plus c uh this should be equals to uh this should be equals to two we know a is four we know b is uh three uh, and then we're left with finding c right and this should all be equals to two so c should be equals to two minus seven basically right uh so c is equals to uh, minus five right so we've determined a we have determined b and we have determined c right so now we can see that tn uh, is equals to a uh, a which is four so that is four and then n squared plus bn 
B is 3, right? So that will be 3 and, and then, uh, C. Uh, it's minus five so we're gonna have uh minus uh five there right so after we've determined uh this formula for the uh quadratic sequence we can actually try and prove and see if it works right so let's go ahead and do that we're gonna substitute n is equals to two we are expecting to get 17 right if we get 17 then we know that what we did is correct but then if we get anything else then there's a mistake we did somewhere uh so t2 should be equals to uh, 4 multiplied by 2 squared uh, plus 3 multiplied by 2 uh, minus 5, right? So 2 squared, that is 4. So 4 multiplied by 4, that should be 16. And then uh, 3 multiplied by 2 plus 6 and then um, minus 5, right? Uh, so 16 plus 6, that will be 22. 22 minus 5 should be equals to 17, right? So we're on the right track. What we did is correct. Uh, let's move to uh, the second sequence and see if we can find uh, the general term using the derivation we're proposing. Uh, so that sequence, we had uh, terms 9, 15, uh, 23, and 33, right? This is actually a good time for you to pause the video and actually try doing this problem yourself, right? Um, assuming that you did that, uh, the difference between 9 and 15, that is 6, and then 15 and 23, that is 8, uh, 23 and 33, uh, that is 10, right? And the common difference here is going to be equals to uh, 2, right? So we're saying that 2a will be equals to 2, right? And we're saying that 3a plus b will be equals to 6. And then we're saying that, um, let me just use a lighter pen. So we're saying that a plus b plus c will be equals to nine right that's what we're proposing uh via the derivation we did uh so if 2a is equals to 2 uh then a is equals to 1 and then if 3a plus b is equals to 6 and we know fully well that um a is equals to 1 then b should be equals to 3. uh with that said uh a plus b uh, plus C, we're saying that it should be equals to 9, right? The first term of the quadratic sequence. So A is 1, uh, B is 3, and then we have C, and they're all equals to 9, right? So it should be easy to see here that C is equals to 5. So now our TN is going to be equals to uh, E N squared, so that is just going to be N squared plus uh b n plus c so b n uh that will be three n and then c is uh five right again let's uh substitute t3 and see if we get uh 23 right if we get 23 then we know that uh what we did is correct so t3 should be equals to three squared that is nine and then uh three multiplied by three that is nine and then plus 5, right? So 9 plus 9, that is 18, plus 5 is 23, so T3 is equals to 23. And that's exactly what we were hoping uh, we're going to find. 